thanks for coming. Uh, the In the Dark exhibit is a national traveling exhibit developed by the Cincinnati Museum Center. And it will dim our familiar lit up lives and surround visitors with sights, sounds, smells, and sensations of ecosystems at night. So at night when we go to bed, the, the river really comes to life and we'll be talking about deep sea underwater. Uh, we'll be talking about things that live underground, things that live in your lawn. Um, this is our In the Dark exhibit. Um, logo for In the Dark, and you can see all the different animals here that, that make their life in the dark. You know, bats, uh, raccoons, uh, fish with the bioluminescence, uh, the desert environment, cave ecosystem, underwater, um, your backyard and the forest. And start seeing things is our tagline for that. We want people to realize there's things that are going on in the dark and ecosystems that thrive in the dark that uh, we're unaware of. There are a lot of great dioramas in this exhibit uh, to show people what's going on under your grass, underground, um, what's going on in the forest at night, um, eye shine exhibits where you can see different animals' eyes like you see in this um, ad. There's also a really neat um, interactive where you, you walk into a, a bat's skull and as your friends walk to and from that skull, you'll hear the beeps get slower and faster and it demonstrates how bats use echolocation to uh, identify it and find food while they're flying in the dark. Um, some of the animals we have in the In the Dark exhibit, of course, we'll have vampire bats. Uh, they will be here. It's really hard not to call them the Cullens, uh, but we're going we're gonna to have a, a colony of vampire bats here. We have frog-eyed geckos, and in fact, the frog-eyed geckos we have here for the exhibit have already laid eggs here in captivity, so uh, we're excited about that. It just really goes to show the, the care that we take care of our animals, um, that they're able to breed and lay eggs here um, in captivity. We also have a Mexican blind cave tetra, which is a fish that has evolved, and, and well, or de-evolved, depending how you look at it. They have no eyeballs anymore. Um, they don't need to see because they live in dark environments, so they don't have eyeballs anymore. Emperor scorpions, which of course uh, live at night and crawl around in the desert. A bingaroon, which is my favorite animal to say in this exhibit, which is a kind of a cross between a, a giant spider and a scorpion, so really fun to look at, look at those. Um, we also have flashlight fish, the fish that have bioluminescence, those will be on exhibit um, as well. And uh, just lots of uh, really cool hands-on interactives. And there's also, you know, a people story to the exhibit where how, how persons without vision um, use braille and how they can tap their, their cane or their walking stick on different surfaces to find if they're on a hard surface or if they're on gravel or if they're on grass just to prepare uh, for what they're about to step on. So. Um, also how humans use light and light pollution. Uh, there's a photo in the exhibit from space to see how North America is lit up at night compared to the rest of the world, uh, industrialized nations versus third world countries. So there's a human story to this exhibit as well. It's not just uh, animals. Uh, any questions? How difficult do you to secure these kind of exhibits to get them here? I mean, what's, what's um, the process? You have to plan ahead. Because uh, some of them are booked two or three years out. Uh, if we can find an opening where it's going to work for us and it fits in our mission, we start investigating those and start by calling other museums that have, that have hosted that exhibit to see how well it was received and um, get a chance to take a look at it. Of course, we're very fortunate with um, In the Dark comes from the Cincinnati Museum Center, and that's where Women in Spirit was developed. So we've got a great re working relationship with those people already. So. And this exhibit will be where those guys are. Yeah, this will take place of uh, Women in Spirit. Women in Spirit closes May 22nd, and then this will open up on June 5th. Um,
Are you glad to be back in the sneaky room again? <laughs>